All right, it's Tuesday morning. And in a lot of ways, I'm starting to feel like Bill Murray from Groundhog Day. Why? Because again, as we've talked about for the past week, week and a half, we've got markets higher and we've got oil lower as we enter uh, the trade today. So in the overnight session, strong overnight session, uh, we're about a percent higher in the Dow, the S&P and the NASDAQ. So seeing some strength on the US uh, equity front. And then you look over the oil market and it's the same old story that we saw last week, an immense amount of pressure on oil right now, now trading uh, below $12 a barrel in WTI, which is a 10% move uh, overnight. So it looks like it's gonna be another volatile session today, uh, such as we've seen the past couple of days. And for you Nadex traders, that's a great thing, right? Because at Nadex, you have the opportunity uh, to trade whichever market is volatile at whatever given point in time. So a month ago, it was the equities. Uh, now it's oil. Tomorrow it could be the currencies. Uh, and in Nadex, you have that ability to trade in a risk-defined fashion, so you know your risk ahead of time. Uh, and you don't have to worry about all the margin-related uh, issues that you could find at other brokers. So uh, again, great markets uh, to trade uh, at Nadex. A couple things you need to be aware of uh, for today in particular. Again, we've got that GDP number coming out tomorrow. Uh, at Nadex, we launched our GDP contract yesterday, so that is available for predictions now uh, on the Nadex platform. So you can get in there and get ready for that number uh, that comes out tomorrow. Um, on the currency front, when you look at the currency market right now, again, it's uh, definitely uh, strength across the board uh, in the foreign currency. So when you look at uh, the euro uh, trading higher, we've got the British pound trading higher. You look at that dollar yen, we're now back below 107 uh, in the dollar yen. Uh, and it could be a big week on the currencies uh, or within the currencies, right? Because we've got uh, a number of big central banks coming out. So we're waiting for that uh, Fed release tomorrow. They're starting their meeting today. And then we have that European Central Bank meeting on Thursday. Uh, so quite a bit shaking out. Again, the action right now remains in that oil market. I'll check in with you guys again tomorrow. Uh, and we'll be updating you throughout the day on social media. Have a great day, folks.